So this could be the best opportunity for you guys to pick up a GPU at a more reasonable price. So let's go ahead and dive into my thoughts on GPU pricing going into the second half of 2021. And just as a disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. And so this is simply just my thoughts on where I expect the GPU market to head as we go into the end of the year. So this of course is a very complicated topic. And unless you are new to the scene, you probably know that GPU prices have been outrageous over the past several months due to several factors, including just a chip shortage, mining, as well as scalping. But over the last several weeks, there has been a pretty big drop in GPU pricing. This really correlates with the massive crypto dip, along with a lot of negative news in regards to China, as well as crypto. Some of this news indicates that larger Chinese farms plan to move their operations to states such as Texas, while others are expecting a massive amount of GPUs from China to hit the used market, which would then obviously bring the pricing down. And I kind of expect a mix of this. While it's no secret that Chinese companies have held a massive portion of the Bitcoin hash rate for some time now. That is all ASICs, and I expect most of that to be moved to areas with greener energy, aka countries like the United States. I think this is super important when it comes to GPU pricing, but we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Now, GPU miners are in a slightly different boat. Smaller operations that can't handle the less than expected profits or losses will probably end up liquidating some of their cards in fear, whether they're in China or they're in the United States or anywhere in the world. This is probably one of the reasons why we are seeing a dip in the current prices because stuff is coming to the market. If you go to hardware swap, you see that there's more than normal cards for sale at a decent and more reasonable price. Now, larger operations will probably be trying to pick up these cheaper discounted cards because GPU mining, in my opinion, is far from going away. And that leads me to the question, how low can GPU pricing actually go then if people are gonna still buy them for mining? So for starters, at the beginning of the year, the semiconductor tariff exclusion expired and it hasn't been renewed as of making this video. This means that the additional 25% tariff on semiconductors officially went into effect. And so basically the cost of anything that's semiconductor related has jumped 25 5% when sold here in the United States, which unfortunately tends to be the baseline pricing for the rest of the world. Not always, but a lot of times it is. That's why we saw a huge jump at the beginning of the year in pricing at retailers for GPUs. What this means is that unless this exclusion is extended or the tariffs have been repealed, you won't see a GPU for less than the MSRP plus this tariff cost, because again, these companies still have to make money, unless you of course are getting a founder's edition card, which for whatever reason, this does not have a price hike like the rest of the cards have. So I put this into numbers just so you guys can have like an idea of like what this means is that basically the RTX 3060 shouldn't be under $410, the RTX 3060 Ti shouldn't be under 500, and the 3070 shouldn't be under 625, and then again, you can do the math for the rest of them. And that's basically the baseline cost, or at least what they'll sell it to you for, at least if you get it in store. But the question comes down to being, will it go that low? Which I think is the more important question here. And I personally don't think so, at least for the foreseeable future. I think the prices we are seeing like right now might be the best prices we see for a while. Maybe another 10 to 20% dip on the used market or on like the scalp market. But let me explain to you why I think this way. So first off, there's still a chip shortage across the board, which is anticipated to last until at least Q2 of 2022 and potentially up until 2023. There's really not much to say here other than supply and demand. Less supply means higher prices. Second of all, GPU mining. So profits may be down due to the crypto market tanking as of recently, but you can still make over $90 a month with an RTX 3060 Ti before electricity costs. And while the upcoming move with EIP 1559 may decrease profits a little bit more, I still anticipate it to be decently profitable until ETH moves to proof of stake early next year. Of course, there are also going to be more cryptocurrencies that follow the proof of work consensus model like Ravencoin and Ergo. And so even at that point in which ETH moves to proof of stake, GPU mining may still be relevant unless crypto really, really, really tanks, which I don't expect because of Elon Musk, which is the last reason I don't see GPU pricing dropping to the baseline MSRP we talked about earlier. Whether you love or hate Elon Musk, he has very, very, very powerful thumbs. His tweet about Tesla suspending Bitcoin acceptance as payment is what started this massive decline in crypto in the first place. And I expect once the green energy standards have been hit, 
his tweet, a tweet that he puts out, will be the reason why crypto goes back on to the second half of the bull run, which I think might happen in the coming months. And here's why. So Tesla suspended Bitcoin acceptance due to environmental concerns, namely mining farms that reportedly use coal as their primary source of energy. Now that China has basically banned Bitcoin mining and cryptocurrency in general, those companies are going to move to places that have greener energy like the United States. That said, it's really only a matter of time where Tesla says, okay, Bitcoin is green enough for us and they flip their stance on it and they start accepting Bitcoin again, which again will lead to people wanting to buy GPUs for mining, Ethereum or other proof of work cryptos. So what should you guys do? Well, again, this isn't financial advice, but I think there's a pretty good chance the prices we see on GPUs over the next couple of months are probably the best ones we're gonna see until the chip shortage has ended. I know it's a pretty grim thought, but I'm just trying to be straight with you guys on how I see this situation playing out. The chip shortage ending is what's going to solve this issue. Again, this is just my thoughts on GPU pricing and I could be completely out of my mind, so take it with a big grain of salt. Let me know what you guys think will happen with the GPU prices over the next couple of months. And also let me know if you guys like these kind of talking head videos per se. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.